Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to use the student portal. The student portal is a feature that Alta Schools provides to allow our students and parents to have access to various types of information regarding the student's schooling. Some of the features we're going to go over today include how to look at lessons that have been assigned and their due dates, how to access report cards, and how to view a copy of the student's unofficial transcripts. To start off, you need to go to a certain website, which is at http colon backslash backslash m-i-r-u-s dot s-p-s-i-s dot com. We'll take this web address and put it into a web browser. Now it may look like there's a lot of information on this page, but the only thing you have to do to be able to access the student portal is hover over the parent student tab, which is the third from the right. From here, you can click on student portal. This will bring you to a login screen. I'm going to use a fake profile for the purposes of today, but you can get the username and password from the student's teacher. Once you log in, you'll have access to various types of information regarding the student. You'll notice that there are several tabs available to select. From the left, they are home, class assignments, grades and comments, reporting, account, newsletters and events, and log out. First, let's go over how to look at what lessons have been assigned and their due dates. Click on the class assignments tab. That will bring you to this screen. You may review assignments for any class that has been taken by selecting the school year period and the class and click on update. This feature is useful because you can see the lessons that were assigned, when they're due, and if they were completed, what, gra what grade was received for the lesson. You can also review messages your teacher has attached to assignments and send messages or lessons to the teacher from this interface. So if you wanted to send a lesson to the teacher and lesson 13 wasn't done, you could click on the green plus sign. If you did that, it would take you to this screen. We see that this is for lesson 13. So you can continue by clicking on the comment slash drop ba uh, drops box button next to the green orb. From there, it would take you to this screen. From here, you could enter text into the comments box, or if you had a lesson to send to the teacher, you could upload it by clicking on the choose file button and then uploading a Word document or a PDF file. From there, you would click send message and it would be received by the teacher. Now let's go over how to access report cards. So if we went to the home page of the student portal, you would click on grades and comments, which would take you to this page. You can view the report card for each class by selecting the school year period and clicking on update. Additionally, if the teacher has left comments, you can view those by clicking on Show Teacher Comments. From here, you can view the grade that was received by the, the course. Now let's go over how to view a student's unofficial transcripts. If we go to the Home tab of the Student Portal and click on the Reporting tab, You can select either middle school or high school transcripts to print and then click on view unofficial transcripts. From there you'd be able to see a copy of the unofficial transcripts and either print them out or download them. This ends the tutorial on accessing student information from the student portal.